Welcome to EDA Playground Verilog Tutorials. My name is Victor. I'm the creator of EDA Playground. Today we're going to be covering a 4-bit Ripple Carry Full Adder. And we're actually going to do two implementations of the Full Adder. One in Gates and one without Gates. Um, so Full Adder basically is an adder that adds uh, two numbers together and it also has a carry in and carry out bit. So here on uh, Wikipedia, here's an example of a one-bit full ladder, and here's the um, gate representation of that one-bit full ladder. A four-bit full ladder um, is going to look like like this. It's basically going to hook up four in series, and typically something like this, a four-bit full ladder, would be done in a single clock cycle. So you don't actually see a clock here because it's intended to be done very quickly. So let's go back to the, the logic diagram. I have another one here, which is very similar. So we, for a one bit full adder, we have inputs A and B, and they're going to be added together to give us S for the sum. Then we have a carry in that actually also comes into the sum. So it's actually adding three numbers together, A, B, and C in. And then if there is an overflow, if for example, um, a and B are one, um, are both one, we're going to have an overflow which is going to be represented with a carry out bit. So this is the, your typical um, full adder that you see in, in classes and I labeled some of the nets here because we're going to be hooking up all these gates together. Uh, so first we're going to, yeah, we're going to hook up these gates together using um, Verilog gates. Verilog language comes with some build, built-in gates that can be used and we're going to be using some of these um, specifically and XOR um, and NOR uh, I'm sorry OR. Alright so let's get started. Um, here's a fresh EDA playground and first we're going to create um, the full adder that I demonstrated over here. Let's start with that module full adder and we're going to use the proper latest NCC port declaration syntax so we're going to have input A, B and C in and these are going to be wires by default and output is going to be S and C out and now now we have some internal nets as you re recall from the picture we have a few internal nets that are labeled because we're going to be hooking these up as gates we need to uh, tell Verilog what the nets are so we're going to tell them net 1, net 2 and net 3 alright let's start hooking this up uh, we have two XOR gates so let's do those first and for uh, these primitive gates you don't actually require to put a name here like XOR0 you can leave the name blank and uh, it'll still be hooked up so A, B, Net1 and the second one and the way uh, the ports work is it's basically um, it's actually output first then inputs uh, so the second one the output is S and then we have Net1 and carry in so that takes care of the first two. So let's move on to move on to the one down here. It's an AND gate. Output is net two. Inputs are A and B. Next one is over here. So we have net one and C in into net two. Into net. This one I think is net three. Okay, yes. Net 1 and C in into net 2. And then finally we have the OR gate, which the output is C out. And the inputs are net 2 and net 3. Net 2, net 3. And that's, that's our one bit full adder. Let me just run it to make sure it compiles. Looks good. So let's move on to the big guy, 4-bit uh, full adder. 
So this is going to be basically a connectivity exercise where we're just going to hook up uh, all these nets together. And as you can see, there's going to be three internal nets that we'll need to, we'll need to hook up as well. Uh, okay, module pool adder four, and also we have input, and these are going to be four bit, right? Three to zero, A and B. Then we have a one bit input C in. Then we have the output is going to be also four bit, and we're going to call it. S as well, we're just going to keep the names the same, output, C out. So those are our ports. Internal wires, I'm going to call them, actually, let me think, we can do, we can do a three-bit three, three bit array here and just call it carry, just for simplicity. And now we'll instantiate our adder. And I'm going to use the proper syntax here to hook up everything by name. This is the recommended way to go for clarity. So we have A and B. This is the first one that's going to hook up to uh, A and B0. We have C in, which is going to hook up to our C in coming in. Uh, then we have the sum. That's going to hook up to... Uh, bit zero, and we have the carry out, which is going to use our internal nets here, so it's going to be carry zero. Okay, that's one, and we can just copy and paste this one and modify it four times. So let me make this bigger so the whole design is, can be seen. All right, so first, these are all going to be ones. Be ones. These are going to be twos, and these are going to be threes, and the final carry is going to be our C out. So let's hook up the carries. Carry zero will get will come into the carry one of of full ladder of the next full ladder. Carry one is going to come into a carry in of the next one. Carry two. It's going to hook up to the carry in of the last full adder, and we should get our names correct here. One, two, three. So that hooks everything up. That should be correct. Let me make sure it compiles. Okay, compile. So we're ready to move on to our stimulus. We're going to try this out in a simulation. So we're going to have a test bench here on the left side. Uh, so in, in order to drive this test bench, we're gonna we're gonna use regis to drive the test bench. So we're gonna drive A and B. They're both four bits. We're gonna have a reg to drive C in, and um, the other signals, the output, because we're not gonna be driving, it should be declared as a wire. Uh, so we're just gonna keep the names the same here. Okay, so we're gonna instantiate our full adder. And I'm just going to copy and paste from, uh, from what I did before. So this is basically a full add-in. We hook up A and B and C in. We hook this all up together. And now we're ready to move on to our stimulus, which is uh, using our the initial statement. Initial, begin, end. And uh, we're just going to be using uh, Icarus Verilog here. So uh, for Icarus Verilog, just simply doing dump wires will create a, a dump.vcd file, so we don't we don't specify a dump file here. All right, so initially we're going to see what happens. Initially, I mean nothing's happening, so everything should be excess. So we're going to just wait a little bit, um, and then we're going to apply the inputs, and we're going to see if everything clears out as expected. So we're going to apply zeros to all the inputs. Next, we're gonna try to add actually some numbers. So let's add two and three together. Uh, our carry in is still gonna be zero, so uh, we'll just leave that alone. Okay, next uh, we're gonna we're gonna 
So we can actually apply a carry just to just to see what happens. We expect the output to be incremented by one. All right, now let's move on to some more interesting corner cases where we're actually um, trying to roll things over and we're trying to trigger a carry out. So let's uh, let's just let's just roll things over right here. Let's do a as eight, and I'm gonna represent this as bits over here, and let's do b as uh, four bits of seven. So that's gonna carry over our sum, and we have the carry in bit set. Uh, so let's do this. Let's let's unset it first, just to see what happens, and then and then we'll set it later, so that we'll see the carry out bit trigger. Okay, and then we'll just hold it five more uh, ticks, and we'll call dollar finish. Let me put semicolons here. All right, so this is our basic test. So let's run it and let's open up Waves. All right, uh, it ran correctly. All right, so as you see, uh, initially everything is X, so our outputs are X. Next, we zero everything out, so our outputs are zero. Next, we add two and three together, which gives us five. And our C out here is still still zero. Then we set C in. So what that happened? What that did is it incremented our sum. So we went from five to six. Um, next we we did eight and seven, uh, which uh, which gave us the result F. Um, I think I was trying to go for uh, eight and eight here, so to get this to roll over. Uh, and then finally we had we applied the C in which did cause a rollover and which caused the C out bit to go high. So let me go back, let me actually change this to uh, 9 and 7 just so you can see the difference here. 9 and 7, run. Okay, we applied 9 and 7 here and you can see uh, C, C out gets triggered which indicates that um, basically um, the adder rolled over. Alright, so as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do two implementations here. So this was one using the gates. Now we can do another one basically using the straight um, Verilog syntax for, for addition. And then we can uh, we can assume that the synthesis is gonna synthesize it correctly, which is generally a good assumption. So the interesting thing I'm going to try here is I'm going to actually try to implement both um, the gate one and the non-gate one using the same Go code base, and this is this is very common in the industry, which is typically done with with if defs. So I'm going to do an if def here, if def no gates, and here I'm going to have my implementation for no gates, and then I'm going to do else and then we're gonna do the gates implementation and if uh, so no this no gates is gonna be passed by the, by the command line or it could be defined earlier in the file so let's do the one without gates uh, so this is basically gonna be a simple uh, simple adder here so we're gonna have a wire we're gonna have a 5-bit sum and then we're gonna do a continuous assignment, uh, which is what you do with wires, uh, sum is going to be basically a plus b plus c in, and this is going to give, give us our 5-bit sum. Now we still need to hook this sum up to our output wire, so we're going to use some more continuous assignments. Assign uh, s equals sum, this is going to be the first 4 bits, and then C out is going to be the last bit. So it's as simple as that. Uh, we have uh, four lines of our adder. So let's run it. So we're going to actually use the same test batch. So then there's no other modifications except this and actually setting this no gates.
and we can set that from the command line so dash d no gates will set the no gates define and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dump all the scope here so that we can actually see um, that this sum is present in the, in the waves so let's run it uh, we have our results over here <clears throat> and if we can get our signals you can see that we actually have our 5-bit sum here and the results look look consistent with what we had before and just an example I'm gonna remove this no gates run it again with the full scope and we should be able to see that it went back to uh, the gates implementation we got our full address here we don't have the sum and we have the same same results as before alright this concludes uh, this tutorial Thank you for watching.